guys. We're trying to stay off the grid. That's why I'm here. And I'm here today to tell you about the EROM. So, without further ado, guys, let's get into the ROM. What's going on, guys? Big Timer 110 here. Today, we're going to be talking about this EROM that's uh, all about privacy. And I know there's a lot of you guys out there that care a lot about that. I... So, guys, like I was saying, this ROM is really, really good. It's nice and fluid. It's based off Lineage Android Pi version. But this ROM holds its own against any other ROM. Especially if you're the type that want to stay off the grid. It doesn't want to share any information with anybody else like Google, Facebook, or whoever, you know. Man, this ROM comes with its own apps. So you have your calendar here. It'll show us your current date, your calculator, the clock, contacts. It has your file manager, which is just like a normal file manager. You know, see? It has your gallery. It also has uh, music, notes. It comes with, and since it's based off Lineage, it has a, the screen recorder or voice recorder as well. And it has task, weather, all the bottom ones I installed just to test them out. Uh, one thing I was going to show you guys is the maps. It comes with its own maps app and it works really great. Okay, so let's go to that one, which is, looks like it's nearby. And it gives you a lot of options. Really, really cool app. I'm not lying. Like, I'm pretty sure it's not as good as Google Maps, but if you're trying to stay off the grid and you don't want to be sharing information, and this is good because this one, I think everything's on the cloud and on the Follow phone. the course of the road. See that? It gives you all useful information. To th this is a this is a good app. That's one of the things that a lot of the ROMs have a problem with. They have to rely on Google's apps. This one doesn't. So the, <clears throat> yeah, camera works that. real well. You know, even if you turn it around, look at that. Pop up, pops down, boom. Works real good. You need WhatsApp, works real it's well. there, and it give you, it'll give you a rating on it, and then, but it'll let you install. Now, one thing that I noticed was that it offers Facebook. As you can see, it's a zero out of 10 because this is the opposite of what you're trying to do when using this ROM. And the same thing with uh, Google Apps. It doesn't, some of them, it doesn't even let you install them. It gives you an error. But the point of this ROM is for you to stay off the grid and and you care about your privacy, you're not gonna install anything except the apps you like and that you know you trust. Let's see what else, guys. Uh, on the left side, we have a shelf-like, just like the, the OnePlus shelf with widgets and all that. You could add or take off. It's up to you. You know, um, if you if you slide down, you get the global search, just like an iPhone. And I know what you're gonna say. It does look a little iPhone esque, or maybe not a little, but maybe a lot. But I don't know if that's a good or bad thing nowadays. You know, I mean, you could always customize it. Look, it comes with. Uh, if you go to the App Store, it, there's a bunch of launchers. Even the Google launcher. Look, that's the the MIUI launcher. So, it's it's not a problem anymore. This launcher is available to make it look however you like. That's the beauty of Android. A little bit. And so this ROM here, for example, it's really nice and, and fluid. I I I gotta give it to the developers. They they've done a really really great job. Um, that's one thing to keep in mind. It's not Android 10. It's Android Pie. But I'm sure they'll they'll eventually. Um, Updated to 10. There's some shade. But, How about uh, the scenery, guys? Look at this. Man. Look at all this around here. Usually there's like rabbits all over the place, but man, they must be asleep or something. I, I see nothing but crows. Look at that tree. You know, you got the Wi Fi, your battery. 
You got your Google account if you want to log in through Google. You also have op open keychain. You have Micro G already uh, integrated into the ROM. You also have the open keychain. Um, there's a lot of things with that. And what else do we have here? We got the buttons. Another thing I don't like is these buttons. I, 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 I need the gestures. I don't like the buttons. So I don't know how you feel about that, but I don't really like them. We have double tap to wake, double tap to sleep, and everything else that we normally get on a on a custom ROM. See? see that? It works real good every time. The ROM, it's a a really really good ROM. I if you're one of those people that want to stay off the grid, then this is this is for you. I highly recommend you guys try it. I'll put, I'll put the the links on the description of where you could get it and uh, give it a try guys maybe you'll like it for me it's a little too hard because I depend on Google too much and I need everything to be automatically restored but uh, if I was really keen keen on privacy best believe I'll be using this ROM as a daily and the best part is you know it's made for our phone it's not like you have to really jump over hoops to get it to work no just like a simple rom install so guys with that being said thank you so much for the feedback thank you for all the comments all the suggestions all the subscribers thank you for subscribing don't forget to like and share with your friends and uh let me know what you guys want to see. What else do you guys want to see? Uh, I'm open to anything. So uh, thank you guys again, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.